Guaso Capoeira. It's Rito Kashishi here. Um, first of all, I wanted to apologize for this episode and give you a heads up because the audio is going to be a little hard to understand. Mr. Shushu was in Brazil at the moment of the interview and uh, the ethernet connection was a little slow over there in Brazil and uh, every time I tried to talk his audio got cut so I tried to not talk too much so I could get the best audio possible and the best experience the best information possible to share with you guys we got some interruptions to the, during the interview uh, but I promise I promise I promise the knowledge the teaching and the information that Mr. Shushu has here and uh, is really 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 good so pay a lot of attention because you're gonna like it baby enjoy it Okay, let's roll. Welcome to the Capoeira Experience Podcast, where you are going to learn how Capoeiristas got where they are, how they keep the motivation, why they do what they do, and even how they do business through Capoeira. I hope you enjoy it and learn something from their experience. What's up, Capoeira World? I'm your host, Instructor Kashishi, and uh, today I'm very, very excited because I have the pleasure to have an amazing Capoeirista, and I'm sure he's a big motivation for you as well because he loves moving, and uh, you can tell by the love he has for Capoeira just for the way he pushes himself, uh, teaching us through videos and everything. Uh, so he teaches us how to enjoy ourselves with our body movement, capoeira, and everything. And uh, I would like, I would love to introduce you to Mr. Shusho. Hello, hello, everybody. Yo, hello, hello. The, all the movers around the world. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks yes. for that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for giving it's, me the opportunity. Yes, words are powerful. <laughs> yes. Capoeira, Capoeira always bring people together. That's why, that's why I, 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 I love this so much. And um, all right, so I know that you're in Brazil right now, right? And you're yes, teaching. I'm in Brazil right now. Right. Yes, he is. Uh, you know, normally when I come to Brazil, it's more for holidays. But this time I decided to come to stay a bit longer. I'm going to stay for two and a half months. So I'm going to be teaching a lot here this time. And oh. also I'm hosting. A workshop. I'm hosting an event as well uh, for my own school. So there are people, international people, come from around the world. Maybe ten different countries come here. So it's going to be a nice event as well. Nice, nice, beautiful, beautiful. And um, so I'm sure out there, uh, there are a lot, a lot of people following you on social media, and uh, I'm pretty sure you are a big example for for people that are starting capoeira and people that are already been on on, on capoeira for a long time. So uh, how people can find you on social media or any any way of contact you? Uh, in the social media, if you write Enjoy Yourself Movement, like Google, right? It's just Google Enjoy Yourself Movement. Or Master Shushu, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, you're going to find me there. Definitely. Oh. Uh, nice. XO. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. So we're going to go there. So what were your first steps, uh, I, I would love to, to know how you started in Capoeira, where, where, how, how were your first steps into Capoeira, what was the beginning of your journey? Oh, that's the question which I'm having right now for my parents, that's why I'm in Brazil, because I'm writing my first book. Nice. Uh, for the documentary, and I have no memories, how was my first Capoeira steps, I have no memories, but that's why I'm in Brazil, especially to interview my mom and my grandmothers. Okay. And so they they tell me that they're telling me that uh, in the very very early age, my father was already like trying to put in me like a standing position to do jeans and you know I was just a baby, but it woke. But from I start capoeira when I, and for my three years old, I really remember like almost everything that have been happened to my 
to, to in my career as a capoeirista back then. Okay. It was also, I mean, it's difficult because if you're in Brazil, you know, you want to you wanna have fun, you want to play, you know, you want to be like in the streets. Yeah. And, uh, so in soccer. Good. You play soccer, you know? of course. But then if your father is your master, there's no chance that you stay in the street. <laughs> there's no chance. Nice, it was nice. Quite tough. It was quite tough. It was quite tough. But I have no, I have no much memories. I just remember uh, I was enjoying a lot myself to go and training until my father decided I have to train maybe for 10 or 12 hours a day. And and then you know I lost complete that pleasure of being around like so much people sweating, training, all the guys there, and I'm the only kid. Uh, that was super tough. But then I think uh, that is like is a it's part of my. <laughs> yes. All right. So um, and uh, how. Do you have any memories of how do you got the, the Shushu nickname? Yes, Shushu means nice. Okay. I believe. And that name happened very organic because I I was the one that used to call people Shushu because I always forgot the name of the people. So everybody for me was Shushu. All my students, I used to call them Shushu. Hey, Shushu. Hey, Shushu. And then by time, people start going to shoot. And I think one of my events, uh, my students, they, they print me a t-shirt written, Professor Shushu, or Instructor Shushu, something like this, long time ago. But the computer community was already called me Shushu before huh. I get, before I, I even put the name in the shirts and, and plays. So it happened very, it, it happened very organic, super organic. Just like I put a school, just like the Dangerous Health. Everything happened very organic. And nice. because the couple, you know, this couple of name is just really something that has to do with you, your personality, and you know it cannot be a fake. And so yeah. the shushu really fits me. Even my family calls me shushu sometimes. My mom. <laughs> That's funny. So you shushu everywhere, like a home, a capoeira yeah. everywhere. Um, only when I do something wrong, then my father called me Widen. and they're like, "Oh, I did something wrong." <laughs> <laughs> Like oops! <laughs> oh, that's the thing. It, it, it's kind of funny. Like sometimes how our nicknames becomes or not like our names. Like oh, actually yeah, our it, names. It becomes your walk. It yeah, becomes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, very natural. Nice, nice. And um, which group did you start in Capoeira? Uh, the group calls my father's home <laughs> my <laughs> no, that's, that's a good one there was the group there was nobody there my father ah. being part of Cordon de Ouro my father was part of Cordon de Ouro and the Vulcão Negro because before in Cordon de Ouro when you became like a teacher you had the right to do your own group so my father had a group called Vulcão Negro oh. associated to Cordon de Ouro But, uh, so yes, if I put a name, it's Cordon Juro, definitely. I started Cordon Juro, even though, even though for me back then name was not important, and I didn't know about the name stuff, about the group, and about the hierarchy of capoeira. I was just a kid. Yeah, so, yeah. I started, but it was under Cordon Juro because my father was he is still Cordon Juro, who was from Mesuasuna, from the line of 1988. Oh wow. Wow, that's amazing. I think that was I was two years old by then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's we amazing. have to say, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's amazing. And um so what what keeps what keeps the motivation? How how of of course the love of for for Capoeira, but how do you keep the motivation to keep pushing yourself every day? Because I see yourself on social media every day. And uh, I'm a big follower of yours. And um, I see that you always training. You always training. You never stop training, which is amazing. And uh, how do you keep the fire going? Mm. I think uh, and somehow, and somehow I, I, I try to become my own motivation. 
I always say, I always tell like this, inspiration, you can have thousands of inspiration, but motivation, it's yours. You know, if you, if you don't have the motivation, you, if you don't create the motivation, you cannot keep moving forward. And for me, uh, what motivates me a lot is that uh, I, somehow I, uh, I have a, I, my, I, my mission as a human being, and the, the world, yeah. it's no longer about me only, it's about others. So I, just to see people very motivated, very inspired to, to be, to feel lively through movement, music, art, that somehow pumps up my, my energy to keep teaching, to keep traveling. It's not easy. Sometimes I have to do two counties one day. Sometimes I do like six, seven counties one day. So it's, it's definitely not easy. Yeah. But it, 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 it pays off. It's really worth. It's really worth to always keep traveling, get to know different people, uh, different arts. I, I'm so lucky to be able to... When I travel, I don't travel... Right now, I don't travel for capoeira mostly. Most of my travel is for shootings okay. or for the endurance self movement. And so I was super lucky to be able to 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 find to discover different people, different backgrounds from hip hop, from, from you know from music background, from contemporary things. And nice. so they open my mind so much to keep motivating myself, inspiring myself to keep moving forward, to keep training. Uh, it's, it's, it's difficult because, you know, the jet lag is hard, you know, the malnutrition, you know, I'm very, I'm very strict with my nutrition. Okay. Uh, so, uh, it's difficult to travel in Capoeira because most of the Capoeiras are not so aware about the nutrition, right? Yeah, yeah. They are not aware at all. And I'm like 100% aware about my nutrition, about what I eat, because I have a brain disease, you know, I have, oh, okay. food, I have an MS. And so I cannot, I cannot just, you know, just do whatever, it, whatever people believe that's good for me. Okay, okay. So once I can feel, well, once I can, I can, I can uh, feel in my my inner world of energy and good nutrition, then I'm able to explore more my outer world through movement. You know, to, to, oh to keep wow! Moving. Okay. Uh, so you, you connect pretty much everything. Yeah, I have to. I think we are. Uh, I think if we don't connect ourselves to what it is around us, we're gonna end up completely alone. I think we need to connect ourselves to everything around us, good and bad, and try to take the best of it. That's true. Uh, That's true. I, that. I, I see on the way. I see on the way. I like. It. I like it a lot. I'm. I'm pretty sure how. Oh. There are going to be a lot of people uh, is going to believe that too because I think that's that's amazing. Yeah, when I see, uh, especially like when you have uh, MS, right? When you have MS, is you see all the people around you, you know, in the wheelchair. Yeah. Some people are like, giving up, and so it's difficult for me. I lost my vision, right? I lost my vision, the right side. Okay. But even even though I'm still. Like many people from around the world, they don't know that. They, they don't know. They see me playing, they see me moving, but they don't know how hard is it for a mover that has multiple sclerosis to keep training, to keep motivating, you know, fatigue, the pain, the legs. Yeah. But, you know, our life is just once, you know, and it's just yeah. once. And for sure, we didn't come here just to get sick and die, you know, oh. or just eat and uh, sleep and uh, work. So that's something, that's something beyond, you know. We need to wish to see where we are, where we wanna head to, and everything we need to get to that point. And yeah. Pay our pay our price, and that's the price that I think that's worth for me to pay to inspire people one day in the world. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure you you are inspiring a lot of people, and uh, even myself. <laughs> I see oh. I see that yeah, and uh, it's it is very inspiring. And I uh, I'm sorry for my ignorance, but I don't know what MS means. Uh, MS is a is a is it's a disease where the body the, your immune system goes down and the body okay. attack you, attack yourself destroying your system your nervous systems it's pretty bad 
Oh, okay. Very, okay, okay. Good. I'm I'm sorry to hear that. And uh, capoeira always uh, is gonna feed you with positive energy. Yeah, it happened uh, when I when I got diagnosed. I was playing for Professor Gugu. Maybe you guys know him. I was yeah. playing for him in Austria, and then suddenly I got blind. And then after game, after the game, I, I had to the ho I went to the hospital. Oh wow! And they kept, okay. They kept, kept me in the hospital and went through a lot of di a lot of exams, and they say, "Man, you have multiple sclerosis." I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh wow! Well, okay. Yeah. Okay. But you know, it 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 doesn't stop us. Huh? It doesn't it, stop us. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we can use that as a motivation to keep pushing ourselves too. Yeah, yeah. we try to understand. Uh, it's not it's not about like why why they pick me, but I always try to see like uh, what can I do with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm hundred percent sure out there. You are motivating yeah. a lot of people. I'm hundred hundred percent sure. It's just like movement. Sometimes you. You, you do a movement, right? And you just crash, you just crash, you just crash, and then you give up. No, I, I think instead of you give up, try to see what can you learn from the crashing. Like, what yeah. the crash trying to teach you? That's like, you become like, uh, once you get certain level in capoeira, or in movement, you can call yourself as an artist, right? As a capoeirista. Yeah. So there's no, for you, there's no longer right, there's no wrong. There's only possibility of creation, of creativity. Okay. So, oh wow, I like that. So once you crash, it gives you an opportunity to create something else. You know. Oh wow, I like that. I really like that. You know, it's so we can take that example. I'm sorry. So we can take that example, the crashing example for the movement to our lives. You know, to our the heart of the, the heart of the world. The life. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. I see Capoeira that way too. You get a hashtera, you get up, shake your pants, and go back yeah. to the reading bar. <laughs> uh, yeah, I always say, I always say that to people against the hashtag of the world, it's a whole of life, you know. <laughs> oh, that's true. Oh, I like that one. I, I really like that one. See, yeah, uh, now you have a shirt there. I, uh, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. And um, so all that comes with training, or all, all the abilities that you have right now comes with training. Isn't there any specific way that you train or any specific exercise you do or like how many times per, per week do you train? Even your like flexibility, like to be flexible when you back, you're pretty super, super flexible. Okay, I'm, uh, uh, okay, I think, uh, so I, okay, I try to see what do I need to live every single day, right? So I need to eat, I need to drink, I need to sleep. But the yes. first thing, Everything is very fundamental for me to live. And the other question, what do you need to keep and become a great capoeirista, a great mover? You need to train, to dedicate in power time. Right? Nice. So the, daily, the daily life needs for you to keep alive as a human being is also necessary for you to keep motivating yourself and to keep learning, improving as a capoeirist, as a mover, as a dancer, as an artist, whatever. So that, those are the, the, the principal alphabet of the capoeira, which you need to spell every single day, from A to Z, the base, yeah. right? So I, uh, I try, like today, I arrived here, I arrived here super tired, but then I say, no, I need to train at least two, three hours, even though I'm so tired. My brother, we train here. We went to run outside. We come back. We train again here. Nice. I train every day. Every every day, I came to show my mobile phone. I have my alarm set at six thirty morning. Okay. So I wake up. I do my training for the breakfast, and then I go maybe till ten. So I do my first morning training. So I try to keep like all together. If I can, maybe five hours, if I can, five, six hours. It's difficult because the life is very, very rush. Yeah. And so sometimes people think that I train a lot of acrobatics, that I train a lot of crazy movement. No, I don't. I just try to be sure that I'm able to make the movement anytime I need. Okay, okay. You know, so okay, for that, I like that. You know, uh, 
Even though our, our brain don't forget the movement, but our body might need to get into adaptation again. So if you keep your body always adapt, yes. always you are able to make the movement anytime you want. So then I practice once or twice a day the movement, but I don't practice the movement itself all the time. Repetition, repetition can improve a lot of subconscious, right? But yes. when you exercise the same movement all the time, that can increase your physical issues. It can give you physical issues like problems, physical problems. Right, so if you do the same movement all the time, you're gonna hurt yourself. That's true. You know, so I try to see what do I need for my body. Okay, so I wanna learn handstands. But the handstands, I need to have a good shoulders, good wrists, a good uh, breathing understanding. So okay. I have to work mobility for my wrist, my shoulders, right, uh, rotation. So if I wanna learn a, a back flip, so I need to make sure that my 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 bridge. My back bending is working well. Uh, so all these kind of things. So I try to break it down as much as possible to improve more those little details. Yeah. The movement happen. That's, That's awesome. Uh, this is very important. I see many people, they want to learn like a back flip and they go straight to the back flip and they get hurt. That's a very good point. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people like that. And so sometimes people say, okay, There is jogador de capoeira and there is capoeirista, right? Yeah. I, I, not against those one things like that, but why cannot be both? Okay, okay, yeah. So why cannot be both? So jogador de capoeira will be the one that just worry about train, right? Train, dedicate themselves for train only. It healthy, maybe uh, take care of themselves. And capoeiristas are the one that live the art form. Right? They live for the art form. They, they play capoeira anytime they build about calls. They do, they, 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 they're able to be in capoeira world anytime is necessary. But sometimes your body cannot be there for you. That's true. And you need to, you need to understand and see that. Otherwise, going to be sick like I was. Now, I've trained like crazy 10 hours a day. Train, 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 train. No, no, we are human beings. We're not a machine. No, That's true. We, we are not. You're not machine. So sometimes you need to respect. I won't say your, your limitations, but you need to respect your needs, right? So you live in that body. Right? You live in that body, and if you want to play capoeira, if you want to move, you need it, right? Yeah. So you feed it. You have to feed it and understand it. Talk to it sometimes, like okay, so body, what do you need? How can I help you? So I, when I'm training, I I'm very aware about these things. Okay, my. What I'm, uh, what I train today, that's the hardest thing sometimes when you train alone, right? Because if you travel a lot, you have no partner to train with you. And teaching, it doesn't mean training, right? Teaching is one thing, training is something else. But then to train alone, you need motivation. And yes. sometimes you even need a topic, a topic. So what should you train? So sometimes, sometimes as a capoeirista, as a mover, as a whatever, you need to understand uh, which kind of movement your body digests to be. I'm sorry, you're br breaking up a little bit. Okay, sorry. So sometimes, if you're like a capoeirista or as a mover, you need to understand which kind of movement your body is going to digest. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah. Like, just like food. You can eat whatever you want, but it's not all the food your body is going to digest. Movement is the same. You can do whatever you want, but it's not all the movement that your body is going to take it. That's true. You know? So, what your body is ready to take it today. Okay. So, you have to... This is about you yourself. You have to feel it. Right? I, I want to have to feel it, but... As I say, it's just like food. You have to try it. So you try something here, try something there. Oh, I'm getting more fit into that today. So today, then you're going to work. So today, I want to run. So you're going to run. Even though you have a schedule, right? if you have a schedule, uh, I'm going to show you here. If you look at that, it's the freeze. You see the paper there? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. So that's my schedule for this week. 
Oh, my week. that's right? awesome. So I'm going to run for 60 minutes and then I do my sit-ups, my push-ups, mobility, and blah, 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 and so on. So my week is, my the first 10 days in Brazil is physically tired, it's prepared. I know what I'm going to do. But maybe during the training, I feel something else. But I feel like the hand spin, and the hand spin is not really in the plan. Oh, I okay. Take it, and then I just do. But if I feel like it's not the day of practicing handstand or, or hand spin because I'm getting hurt, then I'm not gonna do it. It was true. Make, that's not gonna be make. It's not going to make me less or more capoeirista. Actually, that's gonna be more stupid. You know, okay. if you hurt, you know, if you hurt. You yeah, know, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's a that's a very very good point. I really like yeah. this, and uh, I'm here like a little kid. I'm absorbing everything, and uh, I'm because I I've been struggling a little bit with this, like how to find that motivation. And I, I now that you tell me all this, or like you telling us all this, is really really awesome. Yeah. How how you kind of like get to that realization of like oh that's actually true, you know. There's, for me, there's, there's two very important points for the motivation to make it happen. There's one thing called purpose, purple, like the purpose of what, whatever. Okay. The second is the commitment. I'm right? sorry, the so second one is what? The second thing is the purpose, like what you, what you want, mm -hmm. right? The second thing is the commitment. Okay, okay. You know, I think the commitment is the is the the main key for you to always keep motivating yourself yes you, you gotta you gotta follow through you, you you're right it's, it's super hard it's, it's it's very difficult to keep motivating yourself yeah but man this is uh, if, you look, if you look around you like i just mentioned what you all look around the world if you look if you look around you in your work And then you ask yourself, how many people there can do a handstand? How many people there can do a jinga? How many people there can do a martelo? Play brimbal, sing la 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 la. How yeah. many people can do these things? None of them. And you can do it. So that means that you have something very unique and something very, very special in the top of everything. Of course, it doesn't make you more. It doesn't make you less than anyone else. But it gives you the possibility to see that you had the possibility to learn something more as a human being. And if you improve that, you're going to be able to teach someone else. Why? Because that's making you happy. So why cannot share happiness? And the happiness just, this, of course, you cannot see, right? You cannot see. But maybe people can feel it while they watch it or while they learn something from you. So if their movement makes you happy, So then let's try to share that with some other people as well. So I think once you see yourself on that way, like how good you are, I think that's always going to give you the motivation to keep moving forward and maybe inspire the others because everybody can become inspiration. Many people, right? So how many, how many couples around the world is doing that, what you're doing at this time, uh, at that moment? Not many. Yeah. So you do that. So you have something very special. You thought about something very special. There's a huge process that can become a motivation for you and inspiration for many others. So we have to start seeing ourselves as the as the main tool for motivating to inspire ourselves. That's awesome. That's awesome. I really, really like that, and I I really appreciate like you sharing all these. And uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there that. Uh, are going to listen to this, they're going to take it. And I really, really hope uh, they can take advantage of these kind of advices for, for people to start motivating themselves. Yeah, it's important. It's important. All right. So now, do you, do you, and do you think breaking down the movements or like breaking down the conditioning is like a really good way to, for you to prepare like your body, right? It, I feel it's not about the breaking down, it's about understand. Okay, okay. You know, breaking down just gonna make 
there's going to give you like more amount of, of movements. It's not about breaking down. It's about understanding. Okay, I see what about you mean. To what you're doing. That's it. Better, better they move is to have direction. Okay. Okay. You know? So you're moving, but where are you heading to? Where are you going to? Like you're driving, but where are you going? You need to have direction. You know, you have to build this. You have to build it. Up. So what is your what is your goal? You know, okay. what is your goal? What is your going capoeira? Yeah. What is your goal? You know, what is your goal? What what do you want to learn from capoeira? What you expecting? What okay. is the sign? Capoeira you expecting something? Maybe lose weight. Okay, let's go for it. Maybe have fun. All right, let's go for it. Which and and there comes the the first rule that you said, which is the purpose. Yes, yes. Okay. It's like when, like when I talk about dimensions, right? When I talk about dimension of capoeira, dimension of art, I always say, okay, the first dimension of art is is me, myself, and I. Right. So it's about me. It's about what I'm doing, what I want from it, why I'm here, and then from there we stretch the second dimension, which is about the others. Why that person is here? Why capoeira can be so important for the other person? Why learn that? Why this person is always about the second person? And once you have the answers for that, you go straight to the new babe born, which is the third dimension of art. Capoeira, right? Yeah. How, what can we create together? How can we go together? What are we doing here together? How, let's make history together. So, and then you stretch the fourth dimension and you connect yourself to your surrounds, to the musicality, to understand, to the feelings, to the purpose, to everything around you. Right? Connect yourself yeah. to the piece of capoeira, to the whole beauty of capoeira, and then you go straight to the fifth dimension, which cannot share with no one. It's all the magic. Right? It's yours. So you, you're fighting for that fifth dimension of art. Because once you reach the fifth dimension, it's all yours. But for you to get there, it's someone else. Right? So this yeah. five dimension in art is very important. You, the others, us, history, everything around you, and the magic of Capoeira. You know, so I think this is a very important thing to think about. Which dimension are you right now? Okay. That's awesome. That's What? awesome. You gave you gave me a really good homework right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's awesome. I think I'm gonna go to bed. Like thinking all this, this is awesome. I really, really like all this information. I think it's awesome. Is is awesome, and I appreciate a lot all the information. Well, my pleasure. Yes, my pleasure. yes. And um, do you have any any event coming up? What kind of event do you have coming up? Yours or any other workshop you are teaching or what are you doing? I have uh, all my friends. It's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> When I talk about the event, I'm teaching the I'm book the whole year. Actually. The whole next year is I'm going to be teaching. But there's so many events. Uh, I have an event called Endure Self Event and the Endure Self Movement Coach. It's two events, right? Okay. And uh, so the Endure Self Movement Coach is it's not a movement itself. So we have different artists like Be Born Again and MC Kada, also going to be part of it, Leticia, and some other people. So they are great artists and dancers. And they have different backgrounds. Sorry, they come from, they have own couple of backgrounds, but then the, the, the life itself shifts them to different dimensions. Okay. One went to music, another one went to hip hop, another one went to contemporary dance. But the fact they have the capoeira hangups, the capoeira oh, bag, oh. it gives them a different taste, right? A different taste in their movement. Spicy, right? So I bring those people to my event, to the movement, to share their experience and learn from each other. And now for the first time, In Europe, I'm, I'm doing a Enjoy Self movement event specific for the Capoeiristas. Oh, cool. Okay. Right? So I, I did an introduction. It happened two weeks ago in Austria. 
The next one is going to happen. It's going to be quite nice event on the 5th, 6th, and 7th of July in okay. Austria. And be a nice event. And, uh, so I've been very carefully, like, uh, when I to with my movement, so it don't affect the capoeira. Okay. You know, there are few to do in capoeira that it can affect capoeira. And the few things that can affect capoeira. Okay. So, carefully with the movement, with your ideas, your philosophy, you don't hurt capoeiristas and you don't hurt or don't affect the capoeira. Right? Okay. Okay. So, I, so uh, that kind of self movement coach has nothing to do with capoeira, it's more about movement. Shooting documentary, like I was in after the documentary about how 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 the music influenced the human being development. It was super interesting, very nice. And so when I go there, it's no longer shoot, just dangerous have movement going there. But, okay, um, okay. Right. So I try to bring the capoeira into them. When I work for Lulu Lemon, I try to bring the capoeira to them, even them not teaching capoeira, but I try to bring the capoeira to them. But when I came to capoeira. I try not to bring all those arts to the capoeira. Okay. At once, because it can talk to people. But now, as now, the yourself and Mesushu is becoming one thing, right? Okay. So now, a bit more freedom to express my thoughts about capoeira and about art and movement. Doesn't matter where, I'm, doesn't matter where I am. If I'm, if I'm a couple of workshop, if I'm a dancer. So now I'm trying to bring more this, this idea about uh, be more aware uh, about how you how you teach yourself to become a great capoeirista. Okay. And a great capoeira. I think about adaptation, right? So capoeira has a... Why, why capoeira has right and wrong? Why? Why that? Okay. Why capoeira has right and wrong? Capoeira comes out of uh, freedom. So Capoeira has the right and wrong because Capoeira always looks for things. I'm sorry, Capoeira right? is looking for what? For the sense of what they're doing and everything else that doesn't make sense. So the Capoeira has the right and wrong. So nobody will be wrong the flaw because it makes no sense. Okay, okay. Okay, that's wrong. Okay. So nobody's going to be like doing movement in France harder because it makes no sense. So they're going to ask there's something wrong. But it doesn't mean that we cannot practice. It doesn't mean that it's wrong on the floor. Oh, okay, right? okay. All this floor uh, is, is where it's all our, our, our chains. Right? Is in the floor, is in the ground. So here's a capoeirista. I don't know how, how, I don't know your vocabulary when you talk about the ground movement, but many capoeiristas, when you put them on the ground, they don't know what to do. They put them lost. So capoeiristas okay. don't know what to do, their shoulders, no back. So they don't, know, they don't know what to do when they find themselves on the ground. They are getting a blind spot. Some gets very violent. Some gets very aggressive. Some lose the word, they lose their mind. What to do? So why not introduce the ground as something to step over it every single day? So hello, that's, that's ground, that's the floor, something that you use every day. So, um, so that's why I'm uh, me up now, the dangerous subject for the capoeira, just to, to, to give more information for capoeira about movement itself. You know, capoeira is movement, everything is movement. Everything is movement. Mm -hmm. The is very new. But it is adapting a lot. So they see people spinning on the hands, spinning on the head, doing backflips. Imagine that 70 or 80 years ago, my friend. And people spin like mm -hmm. 80 times in the head spin. But that just did not happen. Yeah. So Capoeira is still growing. And we, we capitalists, like you, I, we still developing a lot and, and finding ourselves. So everyone that's coming behind now, we're going to Information for them, which is beyond whatever knows your identity, yeah? and ground can help you to understand who you really are. Kids, 
playgrounds. Okay. That's awesome. So they're gonna live, so live have uh, these events, and there are some other events. Uh, Instagram is gonna be like a lot of events happening there in Facebook. Everybody's welcome. You're all welcome. Okay. Okay. And um, so that that will be. What is the one advice that you can give to students or as student? So uh, before we wrap it up and we finish, the, that, this will be the last question. Advice. Okay, so my advice is, uh, okay, so uh, as a student, when you, when you do capoeira, you can be a very loose student or very safe student, right? So let's put two bridges. Okay, two bridges. On one side of the bridge is someone very loose, on the side someone very stiff. You're gonna always try to cross the bridge to see where you're standing, right? Where are you? Where are you? Where, where are you? Yeah. Which side are you standing? So once you cross it, you might find yourself somewhere in the train, right? So I think it's very important ways to keep crossing bridges, making bridges, not walls. And That's true. Make right and that's the cheap one I think cheap is never being a wood student always being a rock student because if you put it as a fire you and a wood student you get to the capoeira very fast very close very fast you burn up you burn and you cannot be useful anymore but okay. now if you're a student if you're a rock made by rock Close the fire as long as as far as close as you as you want, and when you feel like it's heating up too much, you take time, and then you come back again. You take time, so you are wise. Right? So just take your time, take your time to learn the things, have the commitment to the art form. Try to find the direction. Of what you're doing this art form? Are you there just to clap your hands and move around? Are you there to inspire yourself, motivate yourself, and give the message to the next generation? Okay. So, love what you choose and respect because of the others. That's it. And enjoy yourself, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> wow, that's, that's just pretty cool. And um, obviously, we already have a, a bunch of advices. And the, the good thing about Capoeira is like we can talk so much. And we can talk hours and hours and hours and there's so much stuff that we can talk about Capoeira. And uh, hopefully uh, sometime in the future, I can have you again. And uh, we oh. can, I, yes. That's what people should know. I'm, I'm very young, right? I'm very young. I'm not in that situation to give people tips. The thing I'm saying is just what I think. It's an example which I give to myself, you know. It's just... And all the words I say is something that I tell to myself as well. That I write, I write down my phone, I write down my books. It's something. It's very, it's very personal. It's, it's, it's that thing. So because I, you know, I, I'm very young. There's so many mess up. There. There's some mess uh, well recognized, very famous around the world, which has about the age to be a mess, right? So I'm not in the position of giving tips. Everything I'm saying is what I think and what I do for myself, and it's good for me, you know. Maybe be good for someone else. If my That's body suggests, right. maybe it suggests some, some things. You know, information. Yeah. Information is always good. Make you know our brand is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, we just gotta be hungry for for the information too. Yeah. Thank you um, for inviting me. Yes, yes. No, thank you for for giving me the time. I know you have a really busy schedule, and um. I really, really appreciate all the, this time that you, you are sharing here with us. And um, I hope uh, I get to see you. And uh, I know I'm going to see you at some point. And uh, I'll be like, Mestre, remember me? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Thank you so much, Mestre. Yeah. And uh, thank you so much. Yes. Yes. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just want to share something with you really quick. If you are listening to this and you teach or assist to a capoeira class, or even if you have an event coming up, 
I want to help you. I want to help our Capoeira community because there's nothing, nothing, nothing more important to me than help our Capoeira community. Because classes are more fun when there's more people to share this, this ashe, this energy so awesome that Capoeira has. So I want to share your class or event in our podcast. So reach out to us with school name or any information on how people can find you and send it to our email podcastcapoeira at gmail.com that's podcastcapoeira at gmail.com and I will share that information here in our podcast thank you so much for listening I hope you like this podcast if you did take a screenshot send it to someone that knows about capoeira or of course wants to learn share everywhere Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat everywhere and help us grow this community with a subscribe thank you so much peace